and show you some clips, which we'll do in a bit. We can do that. Okay, so uh, with that, it is time for Corey to take the stage to tell us about this one that he pulled up, which is the uh, something about the Tesla co-founder making uh, his own Gigafactory kind of deal. Well, yeah. Something, right? There yep. you go. And it's all yours, sir. Cool. All right. So this one is uh, just quick, a quick thing about Redwood material. And the, the article here is from carbuzz.com. And it basically talks about uh, car, uh, co Tesla co-founder has another billion dollar idea. Uh, and in this article, it talks about Redwood, Red, Redwood Materials, the company. Um, and the gentleman I'm talking about is um, J.B. Strabble, which if you guys know anything about Tesla's kind of history, you'll recognize the name. Uh, but this gentleman was at, was at Tesla. Uh, as the co-founder and the CTO, where he basically built uh, really good engineering things for early days of Tesla. and But this we're talking about is he's now over at Redwood Materials. And just reading from their own page, they talk about they ha um, what they are looking to do is help make EV batteries really accessible for or the EV market. And what kind of what we're kind of talking about on the show is because this is going to happen in America somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, they are planning on talking about this. Well, we're getting more information about the location in spring 2022, so not that far away. Uh, and they're looking to um, supply some of the materials for the lithium ion process. And uh, specifically, they're looking at, uh, let me pull it up here. They're looking to uh, the anode and cathode materials, which we primarily use for lithium ion batteries. Or we source them a lot of times from Asia in this case. Uh, they're going to be making those for. Yeah but making it in america hmm. uh we don't know where the location of this this plan is going to go um we will we, you know, that that should be announced early 2022 which we talked about um but the idea is that um pulled up down here some action things so by 2025 redwood aims to be able to produce 100 gigawatt hours Jeez. of the cathode uh, active materials for the ana and anode foil for about one one million electric vehicles per year and then they're looking to ramp that up by 202030. Uh, they're looking for making about 500 gigawatt hours, uh, which should be, depending on capacity of the, the vehicles they're going to go into, uh, roughly about 5 million electric capacity hmm. for that. So, so that in and of itself should help um, the demand. I know we talked about on the show, too, with sourcing supply for electric vehicles as they are supposed to be prevalent. Not just uh, people wanting to buy them more, but uh, being sold more. And, you know, with things happening, there are some... More interest in electric vehicles. I don't know why or not, but I mean, just recently we saw the new Cadillac. Cadillac Lyric. Cadillac, Cadillac Lyric sold out their pre reservations in like 12 minutes or something crazy. Yeah, but they, they said I mean, that there wasn't a whole a lot, lot of, of them. Yeah. I know there wasn't a whole lot of them. I get that too, but uh, but uh, but anyway, the, the, there's still some interest in that, of course. So this is this should be pretty interesting. Yeah. I mean, we know the at least the person at the head of it has um, uh, some past chops knowing how to get something off the ground that's going against the grain of the automotive industry if you if you if you follow me there as far as getting tests off the ground and uh, now he's over here trying to work with batteries so i think man uh, i think that these guys i mean strategically what it looks like and i'm just going to flash this one up here because this is also something that's <clears> in the news <throat> that they they formed a strategic oh, yes, yes. Uh, relationship with ford as well that's right? just today that's just today that's straight that press releases from today yeah that, that's straight up from today so so i guess part of it is is that yes these are a foundling company that is looking to do the recycling battery thing as well as how they attack their in their own words the periodic table of elements Okay, and how they're going to go about providing us with these new materials that are going to be definitely prevalent <laughs> in making sure that we have enough battery technology along the way to supply our EV future. That, that's a massive thing, right? Especially the fact that, again, you said that he has the, the, the gentleman that's a, uh, in this process, which is, again, I, I had his name up here. Um, um, if you go to the about, leadership, you go down, go. yeah, J.B. Strabble. Yeah, right. oh, so, so, so J.B. Strabble, uh, obviously, he's <clears> a, <throat> uh, prior to founding it, so he spent... You know, he found the company. He was a co-founder yeah, yeah, yeah. and the CTO of Tesla. So obviously, you know, this is almost like, uh, hey, I, you know, I did it for these guys. And there's obviously a different way of going about the business where everyone else is going to want to have access to the same, I guess, structure that Tesla has on their closed market for their battery, you know, development of their gigafactories. Right, that right. They're probably just bringing the same process out to the open public so that they could basically Ooh. sell tesla style batteries to all maybe well i think that's the one thing i wanted to point out when i was talking there i didn't i didn't specifically mention that redwood materials is going to be building battery components for any 
not one particular manufacturer. They're gonna mm. be making it appears, you know, different manufacturers. Of, right. I mean, Ford is particularly in the one press release just from today. So, um, that's uh, yeah, exactly as you as you mentioned. They're not. They're gonna be doing it for different companies. Right. Kind of just to help with the supply chain itself. Have it be local. I I, I wonder how I wonder if Elon has a stake in it. Number one, I wonder I wonder how much of of he him you know <clears throat> how much blessing he said. Look, I'm not gonna hoard all the technology that we're gonna develop for Tesla for ourselves because you know there's definitely room for outsourcers in this in this production line. So I'm I'm wondering how much he has knowledge of this, and I guess you know for the most part maybe he's given it his blessing. I don't know. Uh, um, I, I don't know the answer to that. Um, we know, we do know that, uh, and you guys would see too, that if you do a Google search for any kind of for Tesla recycling its own batteries, they're also well on the way to uh, recycling a whole bunch of the materials of their own batteries. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's, they'll be doing that too to try to help uh, keep reclaim what they can reclaim out of the old packs and them into some, into some products or random, you know, products that are reclaimed. Uh, but uh yeah i mean more supply is always good as we know there are you know supply chain problems look at any supply chain problems right now knock on effects after the pandemic and whatnot i mean it yeah. just it, in a way it stifles some not so much i wouldn't say innovation but stifles the ability to get things to market obviously there's, there's lots I mean, of companies obviously that's having that problem that, you know and get material market so sure and that uh as we know sometimes business runs a uh, uh, you know on the timeline and you have maybe you, you wouldn't take too far to envision really good companies that have really good ideas and for various reasons they either don't get funding or don't get supplies and then that company just doesn't make it so um having more materials is uh is, is i would and you would hope having a surplus of x would mean the price would go down as well mm, not and you would market. then and then you would also hope that that would get passed on to the the but I don't, but we, we don't know. We'll that. see. Yeah, I guess I guess my thing is right now with the chip shortages and everyone else going through hemorrhaging and trying to make up the difference between what's available in the marketplace and what's not. The average the average cost of materials have has risen. Inflation is on the rise. Mm. Uh, so this is a good jump in the right direction to try to get the prices down by using these recycled elements to, uh, you know, basically make up for what we don't have out there right now for public consumption. Right. So, uh, hey, it's something to watch. It's something to keep an eye on, and especially as this EV market grows. It uh, looks like Redwood Materials has got the pedigree, and let's see if they've got the legs to go to the dip. Yeah, I'd be also interested to see if when we move on, uh, as we covered on this channel too, that the, the battery technology is kind of changing. The battery chemistry is a bit changing. Right. And I would be interested to do a little more research on this company to see if they are situated to... Uh, provide be able to provide whatever new materials go into the next version of the batteries versatile enough to mm -hmm. i mean yeah there you go hey folks so we're going to be following this one again with more battery technologies it's one of the places that we like to hit on as part of the investment strategies that you might find for materials in the ev future which everyone is predicting is going to be huge uh, with all that money out there just remember this is just one of those ones that came up as a spotlight that uh you know has some probably Good legs to stand on and might be worthy of uh, another look. Even though they're not publicly traded at this time, there might be other associated materials or some future, I guess, moment when they're going to go public or would like to go public. So, something to keep an eye on. All right. Yeah, certainly. All yep. right, let's move on. So like, subscribe, follow.